So to solve this problem, uh, once again, I will go to the documentation of React. So go to the React documentation. And once again, on the main concept, we have uh, uh, handling events. On the handling events, I explained you about the synthetic event. In the synthetic event, we have mouse event. Where is that? Yeah, this one. Now, in the mouse event, we have various events, but we we are interested in on mouse enter, on mouse leave. Let's try this. So we have this image, and then I can say on mouse over or mouse enter. We are going to create a function called handle uh, mouse enter once again this is just a normal concept of having handle before the event but again once again you can name it anything so i'm going to create a function and that function is the same name and getting the e as an event so let's try to log and see what event we are getting so on the console if i hover over any image you can see we are getting the class and dispatch configuration fiber node this is actually the node the actual uh, you can say the target so let's grab the target actually so target and here you can see it is the image well that's cool Next, what I'm trying to do actually, whenever I hover over it, then I want to show that this, uh, show this uh, uh, cross. And to show or hide this cross, I have a hidden class that is actually going to hide all these cross. But remember, these cross are actually available in your node. Here we have a fast far times absolute hidden because it is hidden that's why it's not showing if i remove the hidden just for the last one you can see we have this cross okay so we can use this hidden but we can conditionally hide or show the hide or show the times icon so how we can do that what we need we actually need a variable but remember in react there is no variable there is a state so that means we need a state and according to the condition of the state we are going to show or hide any cross from here so just above this mouse enter i will create a use state and remember we already have imported it so this is called uh, what i can call it uh, is hovering okay initial value is false it is not hovering and then whenever i mouse over any you can say any image then uh, i need to uh, say is hovering or i can use set is hovering to true let's try this one and because we have that hovering but now how we can change the class name and actually we want to have a if else statement inside the class there are actually two ways one is you can totally remove this and you can say here uh, you can create a simple function that is like uh, uh, cross class this is a function you can create like here and i'm doing this like cross class and this is going to return this text but this text is uh, not just a simple text it is using template literal back text and inside this I'm going to conditionally check if is hovering is true then I'm not giving any class but if it is not true then I'm going to give a class called hidden let's try this so you can see whenever I hover you can see all of the classes all of the cross icon are visible but instead of creating a class if you can if you want you can directly do all these things in this class just like this you can do these things 
So that's okay for me and if you want you can use a class that's again up to you. But the problem is yes I can hover and I can have all the times visible but when I leave the image it's still visible. We need to hide it. So that means we need one more event as I told you on mouse leave and as you know it says handle mouse leave okay let's create a function and in this function this is like this and we don't need any event actually so set is hovering to false very easy so let's remove the event from here also cool so that's good hover visible leave yeah it's not visible cool uh, one more thing you can do you can actually do this set is hovering or set is hovering to true directly on the mouse uh, enter and mouse leave just like this you can directly provide this like here in that way you don't need to create any function just for doing this thing in that way I can totally remove this function and now we have very clean uh, page and then we have very clean events okay so let's go once again let's see yeah it is working absolutely fine but next we need to solve this problem that uh, yes i am hovering over it but i'm hovering on the chicago image but the times is uh, visible for every image we have we need to solve for only one image how we can do that 